What is up guys, Waggy 709 here. I am back today to answer the question of whether or not the Xbox One X is worth it. Now for those of you who don't know, the Xbox One X is the Microsoft's new console that's released at the end of this year. It is their PlayStation Pro competitor. It is the most powerful console ever made. It will have 4K graphics out of the box, you know, um, no, no upscaling like the PlayStation Pro. Um, that's its main drive. It's got the first console to have a rock a 4K Blu-ray drive. So it goes through 4K movies, able to play 4K games. It looks like an absolute beast. And like I said, it's the most powerful console ever built. And it completely, like, just craps on the original Xbox One. So I suppose the biggest point for the Xbox One X, the stuff that's going to put people off, is the price tag, which is about $499, which is, works out at roughly about £450 um, in English sterling. Um, obviously, the £450 or $500 is a lot of money. Um, there's no question about that. But I don't think, unlike other people's opinion, I don't think it's terribly that much. Like, if you're thinking about it, you're getting a 4K console for $500, 450 quid. When the PlayStation 3 first came out, that wasn't far off £450 when that very first came out. I'm pretty sure that was close to £400, if not more, when that first came out. Obviously, yes, when PlayStation 3 first came out, it was the first console to have a Blu-ray drive. Uh, Blu-ray was up and coming still, so it was still it was quite expensive then. Um, but that was quite a lot, but no one blinks an eye at that. Because they all thought it was worth it, because it was the best console at the time. Um, the only console to have a Blu-ray drive, etc. No one really bat an eyelid about it. But because everyone's used to Blu-ray now and these great graphics, everyone's complaining now about Xbox One X being so much. Which I get, like I said, it's a lot of money. Um, but you're getting native 4K graphics for that. It's not upscaling that PlayStation Pro. I'm a PlayStation boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a PlayStation fanboy. I like PlayStation. Always had PlayStations. Never had an Xbox. But when you're comparing upscaling to native, you know, you're always going to go with native because native should be better. No doubt about it, it should be better. Can't really say anything now because obviously we've not seen Xbox's graphics really, what it's capable of. Not really seen a game native 4K whether or not there'll be a game coming out anytime soon that's native 4k i don't know um but when you're comparing to the playstation pro i think it works out about a hundred dollars more um it's near enough double the price of a normal xbox one x a uh, normal one xbox one get my words out um yes yeah, roughly about double the price of an xbox one so like i say it's a big step up just to get pretty much just to get 4K gaming. Obviously, if you don't have a 4K monitor or anything like that, it's not really worthwhile you getting it. Although they do say, and it should run normal HD games, all the games you've got now should run better and look nicer on that machine. But I don't think anyone's going to stoop up $500 to get a game that plays the, the games they've got now just a little bit nicer. I don't think that's worthwhile. I don't think there'll be any games released just for the Xbox One X. Um, I think that'll be a daft move from Microsoft's point. Um, and any publishers, because you know, you're going to seriously limit your market if you just do that. But I don't, I can't see many publishers making a game that will run at 4K natively for a console just yet. My predictions is the first game where you might be able to see native 4K. Well, I'm hoping you can see see native 4K anyway. But something that really would push the PlayStation Pro and Xbox One X um, to really, maybe to the point where you can seriously compare them both, see which one looks nicer, um, would be Red Dead Redemption 2. It's, again, by Rockstar, the people who make GTA. It's been pushed back 
now to next year so it would be it would be coming out when the xbox one x has already been out so and rockstar like to make their game look good they like to push the consoles that they're going on uh, you know gta 5 was a brilliant looking game um massive open world brilliant looking game lots of content etc there's no doubt they were going to do the same thing with Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, the original Red Dead was a massive open world for what it, for the console it was on. There was no real game close to how big that was um, when that first came out. And at the time, it was decent graphics, you know. Um, had good gameplay, had a lot of content, etc. So, to make a Red Dead Redemption 2, I think they're going to try and push that even more. I think they will make a super huge map they'll make it look good um especially with their new talks of cancelling mods for anyone who's a pc gamer obviously you're very comfortable with mods um a lot of people use mods to make the games look even better and nicer um but i think if rockstar are getting rid of mods then they're going to make their game look even nicer um, I know PC you've been able to play 4K games for a while, but I think straight out of the box they will make Red Dead Redemption 4K. They will push PlayStation Pro and the Xbox One X to push out that 4K content and I think that will be the first game that will push it to the limits. That will actually show 4K gaming because I, although they've not really said why they've pushed it back, they might have pushed it back because they found a massive bug and that corrupts half the game I don't know you know but I think they're pushing it back just so they can test it out with Xbox One X get used to the Xbox One X and the PlayStation Pro and build a game so that when you play on that machine you get an even better experience and I think that is a smart move from Rockstar's point of view because they already make so much money from GTA 5 they don't need to necessarily release a new game straight away they don't need like gta 5 got released in what 2013 not really released anything since then and now they're doing red dead redemption pushing that back and stuff normal publishers well normal game creators would not be able to wait five six years to release another big game um but it's i think i think they make like millions and millions if not like a billion pound a year a billion dollars a year from GTA 5 from being from people buying shark cards etc so they don't need that extra money um from selling a new game so they can push it back they can afford to push it back and work on it and make it even better and I think that's what they're doing and I think that will be the game that will push Xbox One X to the limit and break out of that 4k and what you'll be able to compare them both the Xbox One X the PlayStation Pro and that'll be the perfect game to compare them see which one looks better and in theory yes i'm a PlayStation fanboy but xbox one x should should look better if it doesn't if playstation managed to pull off some sort of master <laughs> with this upscaling they've got on the playstation pro to somehow manage to get that up so it's it is even close even like close to the xbox one x then I think PlayStation have pulled it off and Xbox will have failed on it. Because Xbox needs to blow the PlayStation Pro out of the water with its graphics. Um, stand a chance. But they should do. It should be better. You know, it's much more powerful. Yeah. So, is the Xbox One X worth it? Uh, right this second, right this moment in time, no. You know, it's $100 more than the PlayStation Pro. Um, it's near enough twice the price of a normal Xbox. Um, there's not many games that really do 4K gaming just yet. Uh, so there's no games really to take hold of that 4K native graphics yet. So no, for now. Maybe by the time Red Dead is coming out, hopefully by then other developers will start releasing 4K gaming. Um... Like I said, I don't know if Red Dead, Red Dead might not even come out that supports 4K gaming that good. It's just my opinion that I think Rockstar will want to be the first big 4K console game. Because they can and they'll love to 
be the biggest games out there. You know, they love to bring them out. So, like I say, Red Dead Redemption might not even bring Foggy a game in. It's just my opinion. I think they will. I think they'll want to be the first big, big game to use that 4K game in. So until that point, where Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out, hopefully other developers will start putting out 4K games and maybe then it's worthwhile. Um, personally, I will not buy either PlayStation Pro or the Xbox One X just to play the game that I've already got now better. It's not worth it for me. You know, I'm not willing to spend £300, £400 on a new console just to see the games I'm already playing just a bit nicer. Not worthwhile. I don't have a 4K TV yet or monitor. So for me, it's not worthwhile. Um, I don't think it's worthwhile for anyone at the moment. Obviously a lot of people will want to pre-order it because you know, it's definitely the future. There definitely will be more 4K games coming out. But up until that point, no, it's not worthwhile. Um, give it Give it a year. Christmas 2018, I think. By then, the host of all the games will come out will support 4K. By then, I think it will be worth it. And hopefully by then it will drop down to maybe £400 instead of 450 Um, You know, drop it down to I don't know, $450 as well. Um, lose a bit of money on it to make it a bit cheaper. There'll be more games to choose from, there'll be better bundles, etc. By then, it should be worthwhile. But up until that point, it's not for me. But I do look forward to the future of gaming, that's for certain. And that's it for today's, guys. Um, if you've enjoyed today's video, drop us a like. Our social media link is down in the description. Check out my last video I put up. It was about how I sell my first photo and I am. And I will see you guys in a bit. Adios.